In this video, I'll show you how to turn DVD's hair cards into hair particles using the Bijan Flow add-on. You can find the link below. So, start by importing your hair. In order for the add-on to work properly, we need clean topology. For that, select everything and merge it by distance, and afterwards, turn all tries to quads. The next step is to separate everything that isn't hair, so Yenjin's earrings in this case. Once that's done, I'll start separating the hair into different sections. To do that, I go into edit mode and I select this first back section. Then I press Ctrl L to select all linked meshes, and I press P to separate it by selection. And I'll also repeat the same process for all the other parts. Also, make sure to rename your sections because it'll be very handy for one of the later steps. Before we continue, I gotta go on a small tangent about topology. It's crucial to have clean topology because otherwise this add-on won't work. So here I'll show you fixes for the most common issues I've seen. First, we have this triangle at the end of the hair card. To fix this, subdivide the two vertices and move the new one into the right position. Next up, we have this triangle that can sit anywhere inside the hair card. To get rid of it, select the vertices on the side, press M, and merge it at center. There is also this kind of hair card with an edge going through its center. Fix the point end on the side of card, dissolve the vertex, and do the subdividing fix from the previous example. For the skewed section, you gotta select these two vertices and connect them by using the connect vertex pair operation, then dissolve the diagonal edges. This triangle can be fixed in the same way as before, just merge it along your side at the center. And finally, to fix the last triangle, you need to add a missing vertex by subdividing the outside. Then connect the vertex pairs and dissolve the diagonal edge. I know all this is a little tedious and confusing, but the more you do it, the more you get the hang of it, and I can promise you it's worth it for the final result. Now with that out of the way, we can continue working on the hair. We have to tell the add-on where the hair is growing from. I'll start by hiding all sections, so that's the one I'm working on. Then I go into edit mode, and I separate everything by loose parts. I'm going to hide all hair cards and just leave like two or three visible. Now go into edit mode and mark the edge closest to your character's scalp as an edge crease by using shift E and dragging your mouse. Now check for any triangles and remove them. When that's done, go out of edit mode and repeat the same steps for all the other meshes in the section. Now that the section is done, enable all the hair cards you've marked and merge them back together with Ctrl J. Repeat the same process we just went through with all the other sections.
in the end, this is what your hair should look like. Took me about 30 minutes. Now, to turn these into particles, select one of your sections and create a new LM mod in the BGen tab. A little side note, you can use this low poly check mark to toggle between the cards and particles. Head to the deformer section and open up the strand control. Right off the bat, I can recommend changing the strand type from tube to strip. Strips contain much less geometry while looking just as good. From here on out, everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Root settings change the thickness of the hair. The length variation gets rid of blocky ends and gives a more realistic look. Subdividing the mesh distributes the particles more evenly. This is one of the features that you wouldn't be able to use if you don't have clean topology. Next up we have the displacement tab. It lets you control the volume slash puffiness of the hair. Each axis can be adjusted separately. Here you can see me play around with the values until I get the right look. And additionally, you can use the clump profile to adjust the displacement even further. Curl control lets you add curls while also giving you full control of how they look. This area doesn't have any curls, so I'll just check that off again. Now we come to my personal favorite, the noise control. Noise and flyaways are crucial to making hair look realistic. Noise level controls the frequency of the noise, while noise amount controls the strength. Keep in mind that the noise pattern gets affected by subdivision for some reason, so just so you know. To add flyaways, increase the FA mount and use FA displacement to adjust them further. If you can't quite find what you're looking for, try playing around with the FA seed. Now you just have to apply the same settings to all the other parts. And for the final part, we have to match the hair color to the in-game hair color. Go back to the Initialize tab and open up the Material menu. Select whatever engine you're using and play with the settings until you find something that works for you. I'm not choosing any specific colors, I'm just going with what looks good, just kind of eyeballing it. If you want to take a look at the shaders, you can add this material to the Material list. Then just head to the shading tab. You can also replace everything with your own notes if you like. And that's it. If you have any questions or need help with anything, feel free to join the DVD rendering server and add me in one of the help channels.